Well, as we mentioned, Donald Trump today called for more, more military spending, more troops, more ships, more submarines, more planes. Didn't say how big the increase in military spending would be, but he did throw out a lot of numbers in justifying the increase. Tom Foreman tonight has a reality check. So let's talk about some of the specifics of what Trump said. Yeah, he did, Anderson, put some hard numbers on how he thinks the military is falling behind. We currently have the smallest army since 1940. The Navy is among the smallest it has been since 1915. It's 100 years ago. And the Air Force is the smallest it's been since 1947. Well, those are very stark numbers, but let's put some reality on that. If you look at U.S. armed forces, right now there are about a million fifteen thousand people in the Army. If you count active, guard, and reserves, if you apply the same metric to the rest of the military, you get about 1.1 million more in the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force. And yeah, compare it to the 1940s when World War II was raging. Look at that. More than 16 million people served in all the branches, so they all are way down. That accounts for what he said about the Army and the Air Force. Now let's talk about that serious naval hardware out there when they're actually moving big vessels around. The current count for big pieces out there, about 271 from 2015. If you go all the way back to 1915, as he did, 231 vessels. And yeah, World War II again, very big jump, more than 6,000 out there. What is not being mentioned in all this, however, is what modern technology brings to the game and how modern weapon systems multiply force. You don't need nearly as many people, according to most military analysts, to project tremendous force out there. So if you're comparing fighting power, it's just not apples to apples if you look at these different metrics out there, Anderson. So because he doesn't do that, even though his numbers are basically right, we have to say that Trump's statement on this is true but misleading. Well, what about the uh, U.S. in relation to other nations? Yeah, well, that's what, really what counts, right? If you compare it based on military spending to the top 10 nations in the world, look, down here at the bottom, you're going to have places like South Korea, Germany, and Japan at about 41 billion. Jump up to the middle, you get the U.K. at about 56 billion. You get Russia up here with around 66 billion. Then it's Saudi Arabia, interestingly enough. Then China with 215 billion. But that's only nine of the top 10. Add the U.S. and look at this. Almost 600 billion in spending there almost as much as all the other nine of the top 10 combined, Anderson. 